Hey everyone, this is Mr. Wyrick. Uh, I'm gonna walk you through this uh, review for the mid-unit chapter five test. So question number one is solve for X. Um, these triangles are actually orientated the exact same way. And I like to go big to small. So I go 16 over 24 is equal to X over 21. Now, if you're working this on your own, you got your calculator, just 16 times 21, divided by 24 will give you your answer, or you can go ahead and cross multiply and then set it up and divide that out. Since I'm working this without a calculator, I'm looking to reduce this fraction. And if I reduce this fraction, 16 and 24 are both divisible by, a lovely beep of the bell, 16 and 24 are both divisible by eight, so that's gonna be two over three. Since I know I have to multiply three by seven to get 21, I'm gonna multiply two by seven and it should be X is equal to 14. On number two, what happens uh, to a pentagon that is dilated by a scale factor of two sevenths? Um, if I need to write it like this, I can write it like this. This is smaller than one, uh, so it's gonna get smaller. Number three, write the correct similarity statement for the following triangles. I'm gonna keep this one in alphabetical order, so I'm gonna call it A, B, C. And then I'm gonna put my little sign for similar, my little tilde. Now, it goes from 27 to 45 and then to my third angle, so I'm gonna to need to go from 27 over here to the 45 degree angle up here to the unnamed one so that I'm going in the same direction for both of these. So that's gonna be ABC is similar to P, Q, R. And wouldn't you know it, it stays in alphabetical order on the second one. Uh, flipping to the next page. Question number four. This one was probably the trickiest one on the whole review. Um, solve for X and Y. So we need to figure out how these triangles are similar uh, because we know that's what we're kind of doing here. These angles up here centered around R are vertical angles. They are going to be exactly the same. And then we have this little mark and this little mark that indicates that these are parallel lines. So we have to kind of dip back in our knowledge of parallel lines to know that angle P here and angle T down here are um, alternate interior angles and they are congruent. I'm gonna make a different mark here for angle Q and angle S. If you mark them as congruent, you're good. So now we have three congruent angles and we can see that the sides are not congruent. The numbers that we have to match up are five on my smaller triangle and nine on my larger. Notice how that's on the side that has the two arcs and the one arc for both of them. So five is to nine as, um, I'm gonna go ahead and solve for X first. That's gonna be X over 18. This one's fairly simple. I've got nine times two is 18. So five times two means X is gonna be 10. On the other one, it's gonna to prove to be a little bit more difficult. It's gonna be five is to nine. Again, that's the one I know for sure. So that's the one I wanna use, just in case I made some kind of calculation error here with X. Um, so five is to nine, as six on my small triangle is to Y. I'm gonna to need to kind of cross multiply these. I'm gonna have nine times six is 54, and that's gonna be five Y. So I'm gonna divide my 54 by five. It's gonna go in 10 times evenly, and then I'm gonna have four fifths left over. So it's either gonna be 10 and four fifths or 10.8 uh, for Y. On number five, in triangle XYZ, AB is a mid segment, solve for X. That means um, these are equal, these are equal, A and B are the midpoints of their respective sides. So this is gonna be half of this. Now I've got an even number here, so I can set this up two different ways. I can say two times three X minus one is equal to 34. I can distribute that out and I can work that, but I'm interested in shortcuts always. And in this case, 34 is divisible by two. So I can just solve three X minus one is equal to uh, 17. 
I add one, I add one, that's three X is equal to 18. I divide by three and I get X is gonna be equal to six. Um, down here on the bottom, uh, segments AC, AB, and BC are mid-segments of triangle XYZ. If BC is 17, what is the side uh, XY? So BC right here is 17. Again, it's, it's the same as this question up here, and it's, it's actually the same numbers. If this is 17, um, this entire side here is going to be 34. Each one of these little segments would be 17. Uh, okay, so that's just 34 for that side. Uh, question number seven. The pentagon below is transformed using uh, D, O, 3, X, Y. What are the coordinates of point B prime? So uh, this means I'm going to dilate about the origin and I'm using a scale factor of three. So I'm just gonna take whatever my X value is and multiply it by three and whatever my y value is, and multiply it by three. In this case, I'm just looking for point B, and point B is at negative six, uh, two. So I'm gonna multiply both of those uh, by three. So I'm gonna get negative 18 and positive six, and that will be point B prime. Uh, question number eight, quadrilateral KLMN is similar to quadrilateral PQRS. List all pairs of known congruent angles. So I'm going to go ahead and write this, KLMN, similar to PQRS. Now, I don't even need the pictures. If this is my similarity statement, the first one and the first one match up. So angle K is congruent to angle P. Uh, the second one and the second one match up. That's angle L. Apologies that my angle symbol looks exactly like my L. Uh, and angle Q. The third one and the third one, that's angle M is congruent to angle R. And then the uh, last one here, angle N is congruent to angle S. Okay, so that's how those are all going to match up. We've got the similarity statement. They go in the same order. Flipping on to the last page here, last few questions, kind of a short review, kind of a short test. Uh, question number nine, triangle WUV is similar to triangle ZXY. Determine the length of the two missing sides. So I'm going to set up my ratio. The ones that I have that match up are 3 and 12. 3 is to 12 as, and I'll, I'll go ahead and do this side right here, 4. Uh, so, or, sorry, the, the 4 is right here. So 3 is to 12 as 4 is to x. Um, I can kind of figure this out as a proportion here. 3 times 4 makes 12. So 4 times 4 means that this is going to be 16. Um, and then down here, again, 3 is to 12 as 5 is to x, and I can think of this as proportions. This is going to match up the exact same way. 3 times 4 makes 12, so 5 times 4 makes 20. Interestingly enough, if, if you didn't know this, uh, these are right triangles and these are Pythagorean triples, but uh, that's it's been a while since we had that. Uh, quadrilateral MNPQ is similar to quadrilateral RSTU. Determine the value of Y. So there's a lot of different things here. Um, it's, it's important to know that it's MN is similar to RS. We have those in that order in our statement. So that means we've got 18 as compared to 30. The value of y is another side, not an angle. Um, so we know it's this uh, TU and PQ. So on our smaller one, we have 15, and then we have our missing statement. Again, we can go 30 times 15 and then divide that by 18 if we're looking for kind of shortcuts here. But really, 18 and 30 are both divisible by 6. 
that's three over five. So three times five makes 15. So five times five means that Y is gonna be 25. On the last one here, a couple of different ways that you can work this. Triangle ABC, my large triangle is similar to triangle DBE, my smaller triangle. Uh, determine the length of side BC. Um, I could say that nine is to 15. That's my small triangle, both of those actually. Uh, I shouldn't do that. Uh, small to big, nine is to 12, because I add this side, is the same thing as 15 to, we don't know the size of that larger one. I could cross multiply, divide, work the whole thing out. What I'm going to do instead is I know that this proportion is going to be the same because these are parallel lines. So this to me reads three is to nine as X is to 15. Well, three out of nine is one third and the number that is one third of 15 is five. So I've got EC is five, but it is asking me for the entire side of BC. So 15 plus five means that the whole side is going to be 20 units. Hopefully that gets you all straightened out, set with a couple of methods to work everything. If you have any questions, uh, make sure to contact me before the test and good luck.